Hello, it's me again. Um, you can see I have a messy bun. It is the weekend. Uh, I have a certain amount of days before I leave. You will see that in another video. And today we are doing something slightly different and I am presenting you one of my presentations for class. On the, I don't know which side, but we'll figure it out. You also get to see the presentation part. And uh, today, I am going to teach you about uh, voice types. If enough of you like this, I'll do other types and I will maybe do uh, more uh, informative videos. But anyways, let's start. So today, I will be teaching you about the control tone. So, for those who don't sing as much as I do or others, there are several types of singers. There is, of course, the type of pop, there is contemporary in general, jazz, classical. So today, for the sake of simplicity, we're only going to talk about classical. So within classical music, there are, it is divided in two as well. So there is choral side of things and the solo side of things. So as most of you know, five general categories for choir singing. So there is soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, and bass. And then within each you can have soprano one, two, three, and it continues if there are more parts or not. In solo singing, there are a lot. So of course everyone knows what a soprano is. They are the highest singing type. Then there is a the mezzo-soprano, after that, we switch right away to castrati, which maybe I'll do a presentation on that eventually. Castrati are men who sing in the higher range. They don't exist anymore because it required to cut uh, genitalia so that they did not go through puberty. After that, there is the countertenor, which is a normal man with all the bits that sings in the female range tenor, baritone, and bass. In the soloist context, the term itself alto does not exist because that is purely for choir. So then, what is a contralto? So if we look simply at the word, contra means against and alto means high. So if we put together against the high part, meaning it is the melody or the singer that sings underneath the high part. The term contralto was used in the 15th century to uh, describe a man singing in that range, so it could have been a castrati or in modern terms a countertenor. However, this was only used until the 16th century until it was used for the lowest female part. So this contralto is a female singer that has the lowest tessitura. tessitura meaning the most comfortable range you sing in. So, of course, the soprano has a higher tessitura, the mezzo-soprano has a bit lower, and the alto has the lowest of the females. It is important to note that contralto does not equal alto. Two very different things. Even though it is the lowest part, and you might think there's a specific type of singer, there are subtypes of contraltos, like any other female parts and male parts. There's the coloratura contralto, which is a more deep sound. It sounds like it's underwater almost. There is the lyric contralto, so meaning they have fairly light voice. And then there's the dramatic contralto, which is like the Wagnerian singer, like the Viking singer you all imagine. So the contralto sings between an F and an F5, and that is their performance range, meaning that it is what they are most commonly performing in. This doesn't mean that they have only that range. Most contraltos can go to a low C, and they can sing down to a D, so that is what is comfortable to sing on an everyday basis. So for contralto examples, I will leave the links down below. There is Maureen Forrester, who is a classical singer, a Canadian classical singer, wonderful human being, I love her to bits and pieces. 
There is Marianne Anderson, an American soul spiritual singer, which I will leave down below. And then for contemporary, there is Amy Winehouse and Cher. Uh, for contemporary, it is a little more challenging for myself to hear it. However, if you put the difference between Cher and Christine Alighieri, then you can hear the deeper complexities and the range. I will leave my references down below for those who are interested, and that is all I have to say. If you're interested in learning more about different types and maybe choral things or anything else, let me know. I am leaving for Montreal in three days, so you will get a video for that as well eventually, and yeah, I will talk to you soon.